Hello, this is Ashton, and on this episode, I'm going to show you all the ponds on the preserved area, which is north of Dundas, and I'm going to target anywhere between Nyawaga and Trafalgar. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and give me a call if you have any question at 647-407-4049. You can always send me an email at deltaland123 at gmail.com. Don't forget to stay tuned and subscribe. Hello, this is Ashton Patani and welcome to North Oakfield Ponds. These are the ponds on the north side of Dundas between Trafalgar and Nyawaga. Let's go! Now we are looking at the first pond. It is on the north, uh, north side of Dundas, right beside Nyawaga. There is a plaza and we very often, if you are familiar with this neighborhood, that's where you're going to see Fortinos in that plaza. So the name of this pond is Gladeside Pond. It is sitting right on north of Dundas and let's get closer take a look at the pond from far you're going to see the cranes because they are putting some new buildings in there it's a very quiet pond it's nothing really special and uh, yeah and we will not see any dock today this is great side pond that's the very first one uh, closer to Nyawaga and this is the plaza, and that's Fortinos that you can see right on the north side of Dundas and Nyawaga. So this is the first pond. Now let's go towards the second one, which is George Savage Pond. Let's zoom in closer, take a look at it. As you can see, there is a pathway on the bottom of it, and uh, it is right on Dundas and George Savage. Here is a walk on the side of the pond. On the north side of it, they did a great job because we are sitting beside the townhouses. So this pathway is very clean, it's very nice. It's very well done. So from here, you have an overview of the pond. And it's a quite larger pond, like it's extended uh, stretch from one side to the other side and uh, it's very much open so it has, you have a nice view if you stand up here and this is what you want the station where you can sit down with your family there is uh, there are benches and chairs um, as you can sit here and i think we have a few of these stations along the path along the way so this is george savage pond right beside the uh, George Savage Avenue. Now, next one is Preserve Pond. Of course, you can guess where it is. It's on Dundas and Preserve. This is a little bit bushy at that side of it that I'm looking at. It's a little bit hard to really see what's happening there. I know it's a pond and there's a pathway right around it. So you can walk through and take a look at it from different angles. And it is sitting right on the south side of this mixed-use townhouses. On the bottom, they have stores, nice stores. I encourage you to go and visit them. And on the, no, on the second floor is a residential. This is another pathway that is going from the bottom of the pond and can give you a different perspective from the pond. But as I said, it's a little bit bushy. It's a little bit hard to get closer and this is the uh, from the top so it's very well done you have benches here and you can nicely walk with your family and these are the mixed use condo townhouses that i told you so we can walk here and go to that first station and this is another view from the pond 
for um, from one of the uh, pathways. It's nicely done. It's a nice place to to walk along. Now let's go after the next one. The next point we are seeing on the map. Let me just move the map a little bit. So that was the preserve. Now let's go to the next pond. These are all on the north side of Dandas. So this one is quite small and I'm going to get closer. I'm going to walk with you to show you what we see here. Uh, the name of this pond is Kating. Let me get a 3D image of this pond. Let's turn it. So you see on the north side of the pond, and there are homes. And here is a view of the pond. Actually, it's a little bit hard to see the pond unless you take a picture from the top. So it's extremely bushy, it's not looked after, or that's the nature of it. But because the pond is very small, and it's just harder to see it. You can access this pond from uh, Caton and also from the sixth line. That's where it is sitting, sixth line and Caton. So we are getting closer to middle of North Oakfield or Preserve neighborhood. All right, so let's go back a little bit because we're going to go a little bit north, but we're going to start from Ayawaga and Dandas. So let's go a little bit further. You can see from far some of the uh, pathway on the south side of the ponds. These are different ponds that we already covered. Some of those um, empty areas, they're already built by homes. This is uh, George Savage Pond. Let's go back again. And this is on the blade side, and that is the plaza on the left side of it. It's quite square compared to the other ones that are extended. Then let's go all straight north for a few blocks. Then you're gonna see the next pond, which is Spider. Try to find it here. This is the one. Uh, pond. Now, <coughs> uh, uh, the, on the map you can see some empty land, but those lands are already built. So this is why glass pond. And it's a nice pond. Very peaceful view. We are far away from Dundas, so we don't hear the noise and traffic that we have in Dundas. So it is sitting on George Savage on the very north side of it and uh, you can easily access this pond and there's a pathway all around all right so this has a nice view and you can walk okay let's go after okay so this is what we sell and you have access all around it now this is george savage um, avenue again let's go to the next one which is charles Fay. That is sitting beside Carding and North Park. This is Charles Fay Pond. As you can even see the address 3240 Charles Fay Pass. I don't know why we have the address, but it's always good to have it. So from here, we have uh, a view from the pond. It's a little bit far away, so I'm not sure from what angle I can get closer to the pond. But city did a great job on the side, south side of it. As you can see, there's a pedestrian. You can walk, and it's always good to have these ponds. That's the view from top, 3D view. All right. So I think we are done on covering all the ponds on the west side of preserve area. Now let's pass six line. The next one is Personage Pond. Let's get closer. And as you know, this is the uh, Caton Pond and this is Personage Pond. 
and this is Dandas, and this is six line. So it's sitting on the north side of Dandas and six line personage pond. And this is one of the entrance from the post road. This is actually post road. So we can walk around personage. Uh, personage pond is not a huge pond, but it's good to have this kind of pond sitting here on the uh, on the east side of six line. Let's get closer. We can see it from here. Uh, I'm sure we can get a better angle from the other side. My finger is kind of blocking the way. Right? Okay, so that was personage. Personage point. Now, if we go continue going towards east, those lands are already taken. Uh, we will see the next pond which is um, trying to find a name here postville yes postville postville is almost at the very end at the very east side of preserved neighborhood uh, it is sitting on the north side of dandas and the other side on the east side of it you will see uh, trafalgar and these are the new buildings coming up on trafalgar and dandas it's quite big, but um, I find it a little bit too much noise coming from Dundas. But in the morning, it's beautiful, it's more quiet. You have two stations, I think you can stay here, or come here, relax. Some people, I notice they come in the morning and do some workout or exercise. All right, so this is the, um, that was the post wheel. Now we go north, we're going to see a big one is Zachary Pond. Right now in the map, you're going to see all the land around it, but it's all taken. So you're going to see a huge development happen there. There is a path going around Zachary. And Zachary, I think, is one of the biggest ones we have on the preserved neighborhood. It's very big and it has a nice path around it. On the east side of it is, uh, you're going to see Trafalgar, but there is a pathway. Uh, they call it East Morrison Creek and I think there is a uh, pathway going through that as well so it's all connected the bottom, uh, bottom part of it is also touching uh, Trash Hill Mill Boulevard and it has access from Marvin Avenue as well this is the north side of it Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed and you learned more about the neighborhood that you're interested to move in. Give me a call if you have any questions or send me a text at 647-407-4049. You can also send me an email, ask me your questions and hope to see you. Take care.